Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Of course, my name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to another hopefully exciting video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at something quite cool indeed called Sick Bricks Get Sucked Into The Game. So if you know me, you know that I love construction toys, I love Legos, I love those types of toys. They're really, really fun, and more importantly, you can just be really, really imaginative and get crazy with all the different combinations and things that you could create. And then I also, of course, love video games. So when something called Sick Bricks came out, where basically you can uh, collect these little figurines and scan them and then put them into this sick, sick bricks game I was really really excited to get my hands on this now this is something that's going to be available in the United States on March 12th that's when it's launching and you guys are either seeing this on March 11th or March 12th depending on how quickly I managed to edit this nonetheless of course when I got the opportunity from Spin Master so that they uh, sent me what five I guess yeah five of these uh, bags I definitely did not want to say no just because I wanted to just check out check these things out and they look really really neat and more importantly it just seemed like a fun little thing that I would not mind sharing with you guys uh, I definitely uh, jumped on the opportunity uh, additionally to this you can see on the back really kind of a visual presentation of how this works so we got the sick brick figures it looks like maybe a sumo wrestler and a ninja and then you could assemble them together into uh, these two different combinations which is pretty neat as well so uh, nonetheless I I have no clue in terms of um, how many different figurines there are, how many sick bricks there are at this point in time. Uh, I hope that as we open this up there's a little checklist and such. I guess we'll find out in just a moment. So why don't we go ahead and peel this back. And by the way, if you've had your chance uh, to play with these, let me know in the comment section below. How did you find the experience? But let's see. Ooh, okay. So we do have, a, okay, so for the front has a really cool little poster right there. And the game is actually free to download, so that's really cool. And then on the back, we have all of the different sick bricks that you can get. So why don't we go ahead and zoom in a little bit and go through them. So we've got the SWAT cop, who looks insanely cool. The officer, Kaffawitz, because <laughs> I guess, you know, handcuffs, Kaffawitz. Silent Shadow, ooh, I like that guy, he's cool. Then we've got Hero Thunderbutt, <laughs> okay. Interesting last name, sir. Then we've got Rotten Walker, Harry Fangface. That's a funny name. Then we've got Gus Grotto. Then we got Tiberius War Speed. Okay. Vlad von Vane. Ah, interesting. Ace Orbit. Oh my god, he's awesome. Look at that. That's a really cool little robot spaceman. Samurai Swordmaster. Saki Rockfoot. Xenomite. Wow, that's a cool looking one right there. Then we've got Major Blazer. Captain Blockbeard, Smokey Burns, Tight Pants Trooper, then we have Frankenstuds, Testy Monkey, oh my god, the monkey, oh my god, Rusty Nuggets, oh we better get Rusty Nuggets, we've got Doc Devio, and Red Zone Danger, so as you can see, all the ones that have the little uh, asterisks next to their name, those are actually ones that are rare, so it seems as though Rusty Nuggets is a rare one, so is Red Zone Ranger, um, oh, who else is Xenomite is a rare one. It seems like the ones that like, you know, look very, very unique are the rare ones. We got Tiberius War Speed is a rare one. Sucky Rockfoot is also a rare one. And I think that is all, right? Okay, so hopefully we'll pull at least one rare. That would be excellent. If we manage to get one rare out of these five packs, that would be awesome. So, and by the way, ooh, ooh, who's this? Ooh, this is uh, the Von, um, Vlad Von Vane. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, what I will do, guys, is, uh, first of all, I really like that it comes uh, fully assembled. That's cool. Oh, wait, is there something else in there? Is there an accessory? No, okay. Uh, but what I will do, guys, is don't forget, I will also cut to the gameplay footage of these guys as well, so stick around for that. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, these disassemble quite easily, too. So it's basically, I guess, a three-piece item. So we got the little rose right here, which looks terrific. Then we have the headpiece and the body or torso piece. And then we've got the little brick that they stand on, <laughs> and it has a nice little teeth mark there. I guess maybe that's the logo for the game, which is quite cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the rose back in the hands of Vlad von Vane so that he could just stand there and look very menacing and vampire-esque. All right, so here we go, guys. Baggy number two. Let's see what we get with our second sick brick. So once again, we get the little notebook or the little checklist, I should say. Let's just set that to the side. Ooh, yes, awesome. We got Ace Orbit, awesome. As you saw, I definitely said that I would love to have this one and he just looks awesome. Look, he's got like a little crane arm, which looks terrific. The little helmet right there with that smirk. <laughs> he looks like Johnny Bravo. 
Java or something. And once again, of course, does split in the middle and then also uh, from the brick itself. Now, it does seem like the bricks actually have different logos. So we've got a logo for each character. So this one has the vampire teeth, which is very fitting. Then we've got, of course, the logo of the orbit or the planet for the one and only Ace Orbit. All right, so speaking of aces, let's hope we could uh, get an ace in the hole here. Hopefully we'll get something, at least one rare. That would be awesome. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Who's this? Is this Tiberius Warspeed? I think it is Tiberius Warspeed. Yes, it is. Awesome. So this is supposed to be a Star Trek character, I'm assuming, or kind of like a reference, a nod to the Star Trek's characters, which is really, really cool. And this is a rare, so that's awesome. Once again, as you can see, it does split off, and he's got a little telecommunicator in hand as well. And once again, it seems like these two do share the little bricks between them. Oh, and I just noticed, by the way, that this brick is actually purple, whereas these two are blue. Goodness gracious. All right, so here we go. Bag number four. Another checklist, and let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Can we get Rusty Nuggets? Ooh, who's this? Ooh, there's the firefighter. Cool. Let's see. Um, what was his name again? Uh, Smokey Burns. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an awesome mustache. Look at that. He's got a nice little fire uh, helmet there and a nice attire for the firefighter. That's really cool. And he's got a nice little axe to help him uh, get into rooms that need to be tended to. That's really cool. And he comes with a gray brick and what seems to be like a city or something. So that's cool as well. All right. So now that, of course, leaves us with just one more sick bricks bag. Can we get rusty nuggets? I guess only time will tell. But here we go. I will tear into this one slowly for build it or add it until anticipation build it anticipation i don't know what that means but here we go totem 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 checklist is gone totem 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 oh nice okay it's the werewolf i actually don't mind this this is harry fang face so it looks like we got two monster characters which is really cool so we got uh, vlad von vein and the werewolf character who comes with a nice delicious looking piece of steak i guess and those come on purple bricks then we've got the space like characters which is ace orbit and Tiberius Warspeed, who's actually a rare, so we managed to get one rare, which is awesome. And then, of course, we also have the lovely Smoky Burns with the city-like uh, shape, and of course, the gray block. So, that being said, of course, now that we've taken a look at the little toys themselves, why don't we go on ahead and hop on, on uh, onto the actual app and start mixing and matching some of these and hopefully having some fun with them as well. By the way, I just wanted to point out that these two guys actually don't have the little studded tips, so do they separate three times? or not I wonder let's see I'm trying to pull on that but oh yes they do okay that is awesome so wait can I mix and match like this too hmm I wonder I guess we'll find out in a moment in the game I mean you could mix and match like that in real life but let's see if it works in the game all right guys let's hop on over to the app This thing looks pretty promising. All right, so let's see what this thing is all about. All right. Later that day in the hero's lair. That was pretty loud. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. I have to say, another awesome day in six graphically, days. it's really nice in terms of just being very colorful and polished. So that's cool. Okay. Ooh, there's some face paint on the walls. I wonder what that is. It looks like the Ultimate Warrior huh? or something. Rest in peace. Jack, it's Alex. The goons are attacking the lair. Meet me in the lab. Sounds good, Alex. Awesome. I wonder how you got that last name. Tap to walk. So let's see. Oh, okay. So I just tapped that. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty neat. I like that. Okay, let's walk over to here. Yeah, thank you. I know how to walk. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh. Take all the bricks you can. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I really like the audio hey, of that dudes, guy. You're not going anywhere with my bricks. All right, Jack Justice. Avoid the fire and get to the door. Let's do this thing. Here we are. Bam, got another thumbs up like a ninja. Here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like there's some TNT. Hey, Jack Justice. <laughs> That's a pretty terrible laugh. Quick, break the barricade and smash all the TNT. All right. So how do I break the barricade? Oh, just tap. Fair enough. Come on, smash it. 
I don't know if that's a good strategy to just smash the TNT, because that seems a little dangerous. Uh, but hey, it seems like it worked out just fine, so I guess I'm A-OK -okay with that. Alright, so I'm, I'm just testing out the controls again. This is not a walkthrough. I'm just experimenting with uh, some of the characters and such. I wonder if we click... Oh, we're not allowed to mi uh, mix yet. Okay, so let's uh, let's get through the tutorial, I guess, and then see once uh, we can actually bring in some of these little guys into the game. Who do you ever get our point? Sure. I, I really like the design of them, actually. <laughs> they do look quite cool. Careful, Jack. That's a detection ray. You're gonna have to run through it. Okay. Sounds good. Double tap to run. Okay. We did it. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. What is that? Watch out. Those things are fire traps. Run if you don't want to get cooked. Okay. Crossed. I don't want to get cooked for sure. Okay. Did I just run or did I get cooked? <laughs> I couldn't quite tell. Uh oh. Aha! I've got you, goons! I think we're about to go fighting. No way, Jack Justice! We've got you! <laughs> they sound like, uh, Skeletor. Tap on the goons to dispatch them. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Whoa, that's cool! I like how they break apart. That's neat. Okay, that's a cool animation. Uh-oh. More goons! No, you don't. Gotcha. I'm more like Jack Batman. Uh-oh. Whoa! What is that? Those are some weird goons! Can I just smash this door? No, I can't. Not quite yet. Tap Alex to talk to Alright, what's up, Alex? It's almost working. Keep Omega and his goons busy, and I'll be ready to beam in heroes to help take them down real soon. Uh they went that away. <laughs> just that away. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, look at that Chase poster the on goons. the wall. Be back. I'll be back. That's a Terminator reference. That's awesome. Well done, good sirs. Well done. I like that. Little Easter eggs. All right, so let's head on to the next area. Wait, can I smash? I guess I should have tried it that feels first. good to be home. Jack Justice. He is scary looking. Look at him. He's well, a three brick layer. Now. What? He has giant rockets too? Wait, my friend is in there! Bring me the power brick! <laughs> Dude! That's what I call rude! Oh, okay, he's fine. Well, kind of. <laughs> uh oh, they got it. Tap Alex to talk to Alright, let's talk to Alex. Alex? Hello? Alex, are you okay? Dude, these guys are. Yeah, crazy. tell me about it. <laughs> that sign on the floor must mean that this door leads to their hideouts. Follow them and rescue our power brick. We need it to rebuild our lair and power up the beam machine. I'll keep Sounds like touch. a plan of attack, Alex. I, I love how, by the way, and just want to I point something out for if there's any supervillains watching this. If you want to have something called a hideout, it has the word hiding in it. And I, I just think that's a little obvious if you have a giant flag <laughs> and a giant painting on the floor. Like, we're not here, I promise you. This is just randomly here. It just seems a little, uh, not particularly smart to do that. Alright, let's enter the hideout. Tap the button to start the hideout. Alright, here we go. Eh, you win some, you lose some. Careful, Jack. This just got real. You've got a life bar now. <laughs> Before that, we didn't. Which we didn't, to be honest. Alright, so we only have a certain amount of lives now, so that's gonna be something we have to keep an eye on. The enemies to open the doors. Got him. Defeated them. Door opened. Ooh. I can smash that. Alright. So it's cool because you get like little uh, pieces, like little Lego almost like pieces. Dang, or you good. get little sick bricks. At any moment now, I want to make a joke about the bricks coughing or having fever because they're so sick, but. Hey, Jack! It's just not going to work. Help. She's ready to swap Ooh. in. Ooh. Okay. So how do we do that? Tap the hero's image to switch heroes. Okay. This is the list of heroes you can use in a hideout. Okay. Add heroes to the list each time you enter a hideout, and you'll be able to swap them in at Ooh, any time. Ooh, okay. Tap the button. Now select the crew. Crew, where's the crew? Is that the crew? Is that the crew? The crew! Haha. <laughs> now select Kate. Ooh, look at that! We have an awesome team together! Wow, she looks awesome! Can't miss? Is that supposed to be... Well, I guess it's can't miss, but I thought of Katniss from Hunger Games. <laughs> I volunteer. That is the Katniss! I knew it! She's like, I volunteer as tribute! And look, she's even got a crossbow! This is awesome. Wait, 
Can I add more characters? Okay, wait. Nice swap. Let's get you warmed up. Take out all these goons using only your okay. superpower. Challenge accepted. All right, here we go. Aerostorm. This is your first Ooh, superpower. superpowers. It's I like it. I like it. Scratch over a group of goons to trigger the superpower. Scratch over goons with your. Oh, face. that's awesome! So you get to take them out that way. Oh, come on. That was amazing. Look at that. There's a giant storm of arrows coming down. Okay. When the counter fills up, you can use it again. Okay. This has a lot of depth. A lot more depth than I thought it would, honestly. Going into this, I thought it would just be like a very vague and such. But what I would like to try to do is I would like to tap. Am I not allowed to tap her right now? I guess it's because we're still in the tutorial stage. Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, Help oh me no! Go longer. Get out of there! You gotta get out of there! I can't lose. Can uh oh. I? Okay. Ooh. You started taking a lot more damage than I was comfortable with. That was not good. Gotta avoid that. Uh oh. Yeah, got him. All right, let's destroy <laughs> some of this. That was junk anyway. Nice. Looks like we got 14 coins in the process too. Uh oh. Maybe we've been trapped. Uh oh. Go! Nice! And you think I'm high strong? Told ya! Look at that! Took out everybody! With a super arrow storm! Ooh! There's the piece that we need! The piece la resistance! Uh oh! Maybe not! Okay! Oh goodness gracious! No! Please don't take any damage! Okay, we took them out! Ooh! We did it! Oh no! <laughs> One more! Okay, good! Alive and well! Somewhat! Okay, I think we're good. I think we are a okay. This is your XP bar. It fills up when you take out enemies. This is really cool. Like I have to say, I'm impressed by how much depth. Like slowly but surely, we get life bars, collectibles. Uh, now there's experience levels and stuff. So that's really cool. So far, I'm quite impressed by that. All right, so let's see. What did he say? We need to go get all oh, these. Okay. Got him. I'm closer to my Level potential. Up. So we've become a little bit tougher. Wow, awesome! You just leveled up. Leveling up makes you stronger, faster, or tougher. It improves superpowers, and it even gives you new powers. Go check them out when you get Sounds a chance. Sounds good, Alex. Oh, I almost forgot the best bit. You also earn a bonus from the one-shot roulette. Whoa, what's the one-shot roulette? To play one-shot roulette. Okay, I want to try that. Let's see what we got. Something good. Ooh, that looks cool. It's like a snow ghost. Death gold. <laughs> okay. What is that? Is that a superpower? Wow, if you tap this button, you can use the special power you've just won. Uh, just be careful when you use it. It is a one shot. Now, let's check your level up list. Tap your portrait. Okay, portrait. Now, select Katie. Press the level up okay. tab. You can scroll through your Ooh. awesome level up list. So you can see we have up upgrades to the arrow storm, extra health, elemental arrow. That okay, looks cool. Let's carry on. All right, here we go. Tap close again. Can I add another character? No, I guess not yet. All right, we gotta head this way. Ooh, chest. Oh, sure Thank you. Stuff. Okay, there we go. We've powered up, and we're done with the hideout. Awesome. All right, let's press OK. Hopefully this will let us summon stuff now. Whoa, look at how big the city is. <laughs> that was so <laughs> easy. Was oh, we shut it down. So I guess that opened up a section in the city, right? Is that what it did? I wonder. Uh-oh. Here's Overlord Omega. You meddling fools. Meddling. That's Luckily, a good word. my beautiful Omega Guardians have multiple Omega computers. Touch my toys again, and I'll blast you to smithereens! Okay. I, I'm really spooked by this guy. <laughs> he is certainly an interesting looking fella. Dude, that was awesome! Now go rebuild our lair so I can reactivate the beam machine while you keep working on those guards. Sounds good. Do it now, so I can show you the beam machine. Do it! Do it now! Okay, let's go do it. Okay, wait. Come on. Katie. Go to our lair and rebuild it. I am trying to do that. Rebuild! Now use your bricks to rebuild Awesome, so now lair. we know why we collect those things. Go to our lair and rebuild Fantastic. It. I love how our lair is right next to the evil hideout. <laughs> it's like, that's not a good idea. We really need to th rethink that. 
Any place you see this button, feel free okay. to press it. Then I'll beam in a new hero. Let's give it a try. Okay. So, let's give it a try indeed. Tap the beam button. Okay, so now it's going to bring up a camera. I think. Right? This is the beam machine. It's... Have you found a real yes. world sick brick? Even more Oh, here awesome. we go, guys. Check out this video transmission. It looks like we've got some help from the real world. Okay. Let's see this. Greetings, my real world buddy. Beaming from the real world into Sick City works in a lot of different We're in the real places. world, but that's not my desk. My desk is black. It's usually better. And simple, clean, and light backgrounds are best. Oh, oh light backgrounds. Um, oh, wait, I could use the back of the comic book here. It's also best to remove weapons Is it white? I think so. And there we go. We'll use this thing. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Brick can either be standing up. Okay, here we go, guys. Those are my fingers. Beam complete. Did it! Awesome! Look at that! It actually works and he looks incredible! Beam bonus! New hero! We've got the firefighter. Talk to Officer Cupwitz. Smokey Burns! <laughs> An effective hatchet job. Draw a circle around goons with your finger. Okay, that works. Okay, so let's see. I kinda want to uh, beam up beam in the other guys, and then we'll call it a day for today. Because we've already gone way longer than I thought we were gonna. Oh, come on. Wait, I should probably... It did say to put them down. That's better. Ooh, there we go. Now, for the next one, we're gonna get creative. We're gonna mix and match. We're gonna mix and match the vampire and the werewolf. So, we are gonna do this. We're gonna... I'm just gonna put the iPad down for a moment. I'm gonna separate... Ace Orbit! And we'll see how good this works. So we've mixed the wolf and the uh, vampire. Put the vampire up top and the werewolf up uh, or down in the bottom. Sorry. So scratch over goons with your. Finger. There's our attack. But now we have got to scan in our little guy right here. Okay, come on. To be honest, I don't have the perfect conditions for this. Come on. There we go. Oh, look, it actually... Fantastic. So it detects it really well. That is great. Great stuff indeed. I like that quite a bit. Look at that. Beam bonus. New combo. And we got ourselves 500 coins for that combo. You have a power boost for a while. Sounds pretty sweet indeed. So. I have risen. Vlad Fang Face. Steak dinner. Draw a circle around goons with your There you finger. go. So that being said, guys, there you have it. That is Sick Bricks. Let me know if you guys would like to see more gameplay. I will be getting some more of the Sick Bricks themselves. So stay tuned for that. The unboxings and such. And I will probably continue to do some of the gameplay. Because so far, it's pretty fun. I have to admit. I, I And I'll be honest with you guys. I'm surprised. Because going into this, I thought... <coughs> I thought, you know, like, the toys are going to be pretty good, uh, but then the the game, I, I was honestly thinking, yeah, it's, it's most likely not going to play very well in terms of being intuitive, but I'm pleasantly surprised. So, nonetheless, of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smack that like button, stay tuned for plenty more videos coming your way, and of course, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye, guys.